Hey everyone, this is Razor Scum here. Uh, this is my third video of my Darksiders playthrough. Now, I was going to re um, produce another video earlier, a few weeks back, but uh, what happened is that there was an issue with the recording. The recording actually didn't work, so I ended up um, missing about um, 30 minutes worth of um, gameplay here. So, yeah, so I apologize for that. Uh, what I've got here is I've actually got a um, video of my my um, trip to the Scalding Gallow. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking out this monster. I don't know what it's called actually. I think it's a golem or whatnot. But yeah, basically I'm just trying to employ the same tactics that I was employing in the previous video, which is just to try and um, attack him from behind as much as possible, etc, etc. So yes, he's, so he's just about to take care of himself. Yeah. So, take all the health from him. Now, after this bit, I thought that the way to get to get across was to go on to is actually to try and jump the gap between between the bridges. That didn't work out, as we'll see in the future, um, in a few moments actually. Um, I completely ignored those vines there. I don't know why I did that, but yeah. So, <laughs> And as we can see here, I'll just, I'm just trying to get up onto that balcony. And yeah, well, I'm dead. Yeah. And then I saw this gap here, and I thought mm, maybe I can jump across. Oh no, that didn't work. And then I just attempted to get back up onto the balcony again. Still ignoring those vines. And once again, attempting to uh, jump the gap. So, <laughs> yeah. I was going to do that, but yeah. Not a very, very good idea. up the vines. And then I can play through the door. No. That was my mistake there, so um yeah, so I have to climb back up and Take care of the undead. And we just grab the, this chest here, get some life. And here we are at the Scalding Gallow. of one of these pictures here. Um, <coughs> it's a demon of some sort. I think after this battle I made my way over to the to the um, left side. There's actually a boss fight there. So Actually, I think it was down in the middle, but we'll see. <laughs> no, I think it was... I 
I think we're on. No. no. I decided not to uh, go ahead with anything here. But... And we collected a Wrath Shard. What would you ask of this home? Yeah, so at this point. You know, I was just checking the like what, what items were available. I decided not to go any ahead with anything because I just didn't see that anything that was actually worth purchasing. Um, yes, so there is a boss fight that's coming up towards the end of this video, and I believe it's in the middle road. I had attempted this boss fight a few times before, and you know, one thing one thing I'd completely forgotten about was the uh, was the use of the uh, horn to actually stun enemies. Um, yeah, so when I, so by the time I got down to uh, doing this video, I had remembered that. So yeah, so here's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's imprisoned here? There are things even you should fear, horseman. Once you were strong, but now you are weak and you are alone. The destroyer knows of your coming. Even now, he moves his legions against you. Then I'll make this quick. So at first I tried, I tried some physical attacks. And just walking onto the boss as usual. And yeah. Now when he is walking... When he is walking... Right. When he is the car while he is walking, right, he'll automatically block the attack. Right. But if you do, if you use the pawn while he is trying to initiate an attack, that will knock him down, right? And this will grant you a huge advantage over, over him. And likewise, I use the pawn like on the um, enemies that are spawn. I know it's cheap, but you know, in a game like this, uh, I think it's pretty much worth doing. Yeah, you know, just knocking them down as much as possible. Trying to keep them on the ground. Um, while this part of the fight is happening, um, the boss remains stationary. And we just we just keep tackling these minions. I think there is a second wave that spawns. Yeah, so he's doing that right now. And like like, like I said, you know, it's just the same thing. Um, just knock them down as much as possible and then attack them. Then, once this wave is done, you'll be able to resume the boss fight and, you know, and play the same tactic against him. Just that, yeah, just use the form while he is trying to attack you and that will put him down to the ground and then while he's on the ground you can then attack him. So we're out for the final part of the fight now. Now I'm just trying to cheese him as much as possible. I like my lucky was doing there. He was initiating an attack and then we just used the horn to knock him down. I will take your head! So now we're in the executing animation, 
And, yep, that's him taking care. And this is the end of the video, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.